In 2004, Human Rights Watch became the first mainstream international human rights organization to create an LGBT rights program. For the past 15 years, we have exposed abuses committed against LGBT people around the globe, from killings and torture to police harassment, censorship, and discrimination in healthcare, jobs, and housing. Our projects are carried out with extensive research and work with local partners. I was beaten up by four police officers in, in a pharmacy in Kingston in front of over 200 people. I went to live in hiding and a man said to me, we find you and we're going to kill you. I didn't go back home. No one deserved to be hunted and chased out of their homeland. Chechen law enforcement and security officials have been rounding up gay men as part of an apparent anti-gay purge. They're beaten, they're electrocuted, and under torture, they're forced to provide names of other gay individuals. The Supreme Court has read down Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code, which criminalized consensual same-sex relations. All this journey of 30 years is worth it. Today's decision will resonate around the world and will give strength and hope to communities who are fighting for equality. Presently, 69 countries have laws that criminalize people on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. At Human Rights Watch, we strive to promote equality, dignity, and respect for all, and to make sure that the world embraces the idea that LGBT rights are human rights. <laughs>